to say hopefully we're not expecting any of that late next week, but it's hard to say right now. You guys are tracking some stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we know the cold air is coming. It's yeah. just really, will this storm develop? And where will it develop? That's the things we don't know yet because yeah. that system is still way away from the area. It needs to get closer to us to get more data out of it and put in the forecast models and come to a better consensus. So at this point, don't know what to tell you other than the fact that you need to watch the latter part of next week for potential forecast changes and adjustments potentially to your travel plans. But in the meantime, we're going to have a pretty nice weekend across the area. It's a little bit chilly. Saw a little bit of sunshine this afternoon. We reached the uh, low 50s in some spots, some 40s, and looks like as we go into the afternoon here for tomorrow, low 40s expected across the region. Right now at 37 degrees in Baltimore, cold out towards western Maryland into the 20s at the present time. And as I showed you earlier, the winds are now starting to calm down a little bit. Uh, we'll have a westerly wind tomorrow at about 10 to 15. Uh, temperatures starting off into the 30s and then rising into low 40s here for tomorrow afternoon. So through next week, this is what you can expect. Sunny and cool through the weekend. It really looks like it's going to be fine through Wednesday as far as sunshine, no real big storm system headed our way. We're going to track that Arctic blast late next week into next weekend, of course, just in time for the Christmas holiday. And of course, that possibility that we could see a coastal storm develop that could cause some even more issues. Right now, that's still all speculation. We just do not have the information yet to really pinpoint down an exact forecast. But at least the next few days will be nice. Futurecast shows that through uh, tomorrow and through it uh, looks like Sunday is going to be just fine. Perhaps a little bit of snow shower activity out in far western Maryland here for tomorrow in early Sunday. But that's really about it. Looks like it'll be a relatively uneventful weekend and at the start of next week. But this is what we're watching right here. Big dome of cold air that's going to be dropping down to the region. The quote unquote polar vortex is going to pay us a visit, unleashing the cold air down towards much of the lower 48. Some parts of the lower 48 are going to see the coldest Christmas time temperatures in 30 to 40 years. It gives you an idea of just how nasty and how cold this outbreak is going to be. And notice it does include the East Coast here. We'll be watching for that, uh, that threat for a coastal storm. Colder than average temperatures for much of the eastern U.S. And of course, we're going to be watching that potential there for some wintry weather as well. So here's a look at your first alert seven day forecast. Again, it looks like we'll be rain free and snow free, if you will, all the way through next week with lots of sunshine through next Wednesday. We're going to keep an eye though on late next week. Still, again, some questions. This is going to change, I guarantee you, over the next few days. So just keep it tuned here. We'll keep you updated as we get more data in. But uh, you may want to just keep that in mind for your travel plans, people coming in or leaving here for the Christmas holiday. We'll keep you updated. Back to you. Derek, great breakdown. Thank you. And for more first alert weather and updated news, check in with Stefan Dingle and meteorologist Abigail Degler tomorrow morning starting at 6 a.m. right here on WJZ.